Hi guys, so this vlog has like not started at all and it is 9.30 Tuesday night. Um, so Sunday I edited, I uploaded, and I don't usually vlog on the day that I upload. So Sundays I usually don't vlog, I usually start on Monday, and then Wednesdays I don't vlog, I usually start on Thursdays. However, Monday I had doctor's appointments. So, give you the rundown of that. I had two appointments done in Pittsburgh. Um, I purposefully scheduled them both on the same day uh, just because that far of a drive, it's quite a lot, um, especially on me and on Tim. And he has to get days off of work, and usually his like boss, his stepdad, isn't usually very happy about it. Especially because we've been doing a lot of Pittsburgh trips lately. Anyways, I saw the ear specialist first because I had the polyps in my ears at my first appointment with Dr. Lee, which was my nose doctor down there. So, she referred me to the ear specialist. I went down on Monday, which was yesterday, um, and he looked in my ears, he said that they looked great, there were no polyps in there or anything like that that he could see. So the steroids that my nose doctor had put me on had cleared them up, which was great. Um, so he didn't see like any kind of fluid or anything, so he had me do a hearing test to get a baseline uh, on my good hearing, like so I can so he can see um and if or when my polyps come back in my ears uh he said that i will go down i'll do another hearing test just to get like an update i guess um on how i'm hearing with the polyps and then depending on how that goes we may end up putting tubes in to help clear um but he said that my polyps may never come back in my ears. They very well may. Um, he said, considering my case, it's a high possibility that they will come back, but as of right now, he's not too concerned. Um, he said the first sight, or the first, I guess, sight of hearing loss that like clogged up where I can't really hear like before, um, he said to go down and see him. So, um, I don't have to see him until that happens, if that ever does happen again. But he wanted me just to be seen anyways, just to get that baseline, like I said, with good hearing and everything. Then I had to go over and see my nose doctor for my post-op surgery. She removed the stents, which are like a fishing line material. They were, sometimes they um, dissolve, sometimes they don't. The one on this side did dissolve, the one on this side did not dissolve. So he, she pulled that out. Um, she looked in my nose. She's It's still very inflamed, so I have to start uh, this steroid spray in my nose. It's not Flonase or anything like that. It's actual, like my budesonide, which my old ENT was having me put into my nose irrigation rinse. Um, but I'm doing it straight in without diluting it or anything like that. So, um, other than that, I, I have to go back and see her in one month, which is September 17th, which I also have another appointment that day. So she's very nice about working around my other doctor's appointments down there. Um, my other one is an aspirin desensitization. She said that's my best bet to get the polyps not come back. So that's just a little update. But I want to show you guys what I'm currently getting ready to work on. And I'm super, super excited about it. So on Amazon, there is a mermaid tail, um, like newborn through 12 month pictures, like banner. Um, so I can put all of her monthly pictures on it. But, I am making one myself. So, 
I've got, this is actual like outdoor jute twine. Um, there's 190 feet, which I do not need that much at all. Um, but my Dollar Tree didn't have any. This was only like a dollar seventy-three, I think. And it was much cheaper than I would pay like at Joann's. So this is just hyper tough brand. I found this in the automotive section, honestly. Um, so I got that. I picked up two of these sheets. I was hoping to get two of these or one of these and a purple, but they did not have any glitter purple. So I picked up two sheets of this sparkly blue paper. I picked up this Sharpie paint marker in metallic silver with a medium point. Just, you know, your every average everyday paint marker. Um, I have just a black Sharpie to trace the mermaid tail that I cut out yesterday. Yes, this is a little wonky, but I'll fix that when I'm tracing them. And then I've got clothespins to pin or, or to glue to the back of the mermaid tails and glue onto the twine. And then, hey, like use that to clip her pictures on. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out and I will definitely show you guys how it turns out. Um, but Tim actually went to give his brother a ride and then he's going to stop and he's going to grab me a sub from Country Fair on his way home because I want a sub from Country Fair. Um, like I said, it's 9.30 at night. Ella just went down to bed. It was a little bit later than normal because her nap got pushed back because we did a bunch of grocery shopping all day. And Tim's calling. Please welcome Victoria's Secret. Alessandra Ambrosio. Hi guys, so it's been a rough day. Um, Ella woke up in a mood. She was crying. She was very crabby. So she's down for a nap. It's like 3.30. I'm going to edit so that I can get this up for you guys. And so I can start cleaning and just get some things done. Um, I have a birthday party to go to this Sunday. And then... We'll be just going into full swing for Ella's party. Um, I finished her birthday banner. I showed you guys that. Not her birthday banner, but her um, photo banner for her party. And then I ordered some tool last night on eBay. And it should be here, I think, on Monday. But it should be here. So uh, the reason why I, I ordered tool is so that I can make her a high chair skirt. Um, so, oh, excuse me, I need to go to Joann's and get some more sheets of that glittery blue paper that I showed you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do three mermaid tails and have O and E, or just do one mermaid tail and have the number one. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I need to go and get the supplies for that, which it shouldn't come to more than five dollars. Um... And then I need to order her birthday outfit. So I'm ordering it from Tool Time on e or on Etsy. So I'm very excited. I am still corresponding with her on purchasing it and everything like that. But I'm super, super excited. And I cannot wait. And I will, if you guys are interested, I can show you guys me making the tool skirt um, for her high chair. Or I can just show you the finished product when it's done. It's up to you guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this here. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.